Hey, me again. I was going to do my next episode about dogs and cats, but unfortunately they won't let us film inside PetSmart, so I'm going to do bugs instead. Um, first of all, there's many different family groups of bugs, like there's insects and arachnids, and the, the difference between insects and arachnids is insects always have six legs, and their bodies are always divided into three different segments, and sometimes they have wings. an antenna too, but arachnids, like spiders, always have eight legs, and their bodies are always divided into two different sections, but they never have wings or antenna. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm in this parking lot. For one thing, I think I forgot to say, well the reason why is because bugs can live anywhere. Bugs live on every continent, even Antarctica, and one bug I want to talk about right now is the queen termite. The queen termite is really extreme at, actually not just the queen termite, termites are really extreme at a lot of different things. They're the most extreme builders, most extreme home designers, most extreme troublemakers, most extreme diggers, and the queen termite is also the most extreme leader. And what's cool about the queen termite is she gives birth every 15 seconds and, per, and can lay 100,000 eggs a day. If we could breathe like termites, our moms would need to be over 60 feet tall, as tall as a six-story building and 10 times taller than the average man. Talk about attack of the 60-foot centerfold. But anyway, she'd be giving birth so quickly that in just two days, our babies could fill Yankee Stadium. Now, termites being the most extreme troublemakers, they cause three billion dollars of damage a year. They can chew. They can chew their way through 100. A single colony can chew their way through 150 feet of wood a year. At that rate, 10 colonies could completely demolish a house in just seven years. And termites can eat as much as half a ton of wood a year. And being the most extreme diggers, they can dig as deep as 130 feet. That's as not. That's not the deepest of any animal. But we've seen their mounds. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Their mounds can be up to 40 feet tall, as tall as a four-story building and twice as tall as a giraffe. And that's what, that's not that's one reason why they're the most extreme home designers and builders. And the most extreme leaders, they don't live in the largest concentration of any animals in the world, but the queen termite is in charge of more individuals than any other animal in the world. She's in charge of five million individuals. Like I said, bugs can live anywhere, outdoors or indoors. Like this mall, they can be hiding in plants like these. But there's one bug that really lives everywhere, the cockroach. The cockroach is the most extreme global conqueror in the world. They live everywhere, even in Antarctica. There are more cockroaches on this planet than any other animal. And there's a lot of other amazing bugs out there like ants. Can lift some species of ants can lift 1,000 times their body weight. That would be like a 200 pound man lifting 100 tons. And the flea is the most extreme jumper in the world. It, can, it only covers two feet in one leap and it only jumps a foot up in the air, but that's more than 333 times its body length and 200 times its height. That would be like the average six foot tall man jumping over 2,000 feet, which is the length of the Brooklyn Bridge, and jumping 1,200 feet straight up in the air, the height of not one, but two Statues of Liberty. And relative to the spider, the tick is the most extreme bloodsucker in the world, and also the most extreme dieter in the world. It can go without food for 20 years, longer than any other animal, and when it does eat, it can drink 600 times its own body weight in blood every day. That would be like Ew. Dracula drinking 60 tons of blood. Ew. And the tiger beetle is proportionally the fastest animal in the world, in proportion to its body size. It may only run like about mm, six miles an hour, I think, but it can run more body lengths per second than any other animal. 
Um, although I did hear once about a bug that could run, maybe run faster, but run more bot lengths per second. But if we could run as fast as a tiger beetle, if we could run the same length of the same body lengths per second as a tiger beetle, we could run 310 miles an hour as fast as a drag racer and more than 10 times faster than Usain Bolt, who only runs 30 miles an hour. The largest and heaviest insect alive today, which might also be the largest and heaviest bug alive today, is the Goliath beetle. It weighs a quarter of a pound, as heavy as four mice. 300 million years ago, there were even larger bugs because of the higher oxygen levels. Today, the oxygen levels are 21%, but 300 million years ago, the oxygen levels were as high as 40%, almost twice as high as they are today. And in theory, that allowed the bugs to grow almost twice as big because with almost twice as much oxygen, they could go, it could go almost twice as far down these tubes that are on the sides of a bug's body, which makes them grow almost twice as big. And, like, there was a giant ancestor of centipedes and millipedes called Arthroplora. It was 10 feet long, 2 feet wide, and therefore it was 6.28 feet in girth, because remember, the girth of a circle is always 3.14 times the width and weighed 400 pounds. But just like modern day millipedes, it was a vegetarian, but it could still pack a nasty bite. And Arthropora could rear up tall enough to look a grown man right in the eyes. So the average man being six feet tall, Arthropora could rear up to be six feet tall. And other giant bugs that lived alongside Arthropora, there was Mesothele, I think it's also called Megarachnia, I think they're the same animal, with a leg span two feet wide, as big as a human head, It'd be hunting cats if it were alive today, and the largest um, insect ever to fly, a giant prehistoric dragonfly called Meganura, also known as the griffin fly. Wingspan of, was five feet wide, was three feet long, and weighed a pound, it was the size of an eagle. And there was even a giant scorpion called Palmenoscorpius also known as just the giant scorpion, and it was four feet long and weighed 22 pounds. Now I'm in Newington Town Forest because now I'm going to be showing the habitats where bugs live in the wild because like I said, bugs can live anywhere. Now you've noticed that a lot of bugs live in swarms, but there was one swarm of, the, of Rocky Mountain locusts that was really big. Back in 1875, there was a huge swarm of 13 trillion Rocky Mountain locusts that invaded North America. The largest concentration of animals ever recorded in history. That's more locusts than there are stars in the entire Milky Way. <coughs> the swarm was 2,000 miles long and 110 miles wide. That's 220,000 square miles. Compare 13 trillion Rocky Mountain locusts to, to just 8 billion people living on Earth today. Now, the Rocky Mountain locust is actually extinct, and like I said, this was in 1875, and the swarm caused $120 billion of damage, but then, for some strange reason, in 1902, just 27 years later, the Rocky Mountain locust became extinct. But how could 13 trillion Rocky Mountain locusts die off in just 27 years? That makes no sense. Some people think they might still be alive, because there was a place that was protected at that time. Yellowstone National Park. 
if there's any place the Rocky Mountain Logos could live today, it'd be that place because, as a matter of fact, one man reported seeing one in the park, and then it was gone. I think back at the mall when I mentioned the tiger beetle, I kind of made a mistake. There is a, another kind of bug that is that can run more body lengths per second than the tiger beetle can. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have to look it up. But I do know this. Like I said, it can run more body lengths per second than any other animal. Now the fastest human ever is Usain Bolt. He can run 30 miles an hour. But if, if we could run the same number of body lengths per second that this typical bug could, we'd be able to run 2,000 miles per hour. That's almost 667 times faster than Usain Bolt. There are lots of other record-breaking bugs out there because I already mentioned that the Goliath beetle was the largest and heaviest insect in the world. There's another beetle that could rival it. It's called the Titanus beetle, and I think it's also known as the Longhorn beetle. It's huge, seven inches long, and I think one of the longest bugs in the world might be the South American giant centipede, two feet long. And there's, I th there's also a stick bug that might be the same length, and the rhino beetle is incredibly strong compared to its, to its size. It can lift 850 times its body weight. It only weighs an ounce, which is the size of a mouse, but that means it can lift 850 ounces, which is more than 53 pounds. It could lift a small child. And if we were as strong as a rhino beetle, it would be like the average 200 pound man lifting an 85 ton army tank. Back at the mall, I mentioned that the flea was proportionally the best jump in the world. Here's something I forgot to say about it. When a flea jumps, the force that it uses to jump is 140 times its body weight. That would be like the average 200 pound man jumping with a force of 14 tons per square inch. There's another type of bug. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to find out. But it can jump with a force of 400 times its body weight. And that would be like the average 200 pound man jumping with a force of 40 tons per square inch. That's almost three times more than the flea. Well, that's it for today. See you next time on another one of my special episodes of Ben's Wild Adventure.